If we're solving this system of equations right here with a matrix, we're going to start a new document. No, we don't want to save our old one. Today we need a calculator page. We're going to hit menu and then matrix. Does everybody see it? Okay. After we hit menu and matrix, there, God bless you. Now, there's, a, there's another order that you can do this in. I'm showing you the order that's the fastest. I'm not saying my way is the only way to do it. I'm saying I think it's the fastest, okay? So after, the, after we choose menu and matrix, the first thing we're gonna choose is reduced row echelon form, okay? When you press it, it's gonna show up as RREF on your calculator. Please don't confuse it with just row echelon form because that's different. We need reduced row echelon form, okay? Now we're gonna go back to menu and back to matrix. Right there. And this time we're gonna create a matrix. Now, can you tell me why I'm not telling you numbers to push? Why am I writing words instead of the numbers that we push? So you remember it. You remember the actions that we're doing. I don't want you to just be a person that's just a, a good button pusher. I want you to know what math we're doing. Does that make sense? Okay. So we're choosing, we're creating a matrix. Look at, a, look at our problem. Okay. We're about to create a matrix ourselves. Okay. I'm going to move my calculator to the side for just a second so we can create our matrix. First of all, do you know what a matrix is besides a really amazing movie? Do what? Okay. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Okay? Sometimes we store numbers in a matrix. Sometimes we uh, have data in a matrix. It's just a place to put um, uh, numbers and sometimes we can do actions on that, that matrix like a reduced row echelon form action, okay? So the first thing we're gonna write right here is called a coefficient matrix. Okay, this is a coefficient matrix. That means I'm gonna look at my system and only write down the coefficients or the numbers, okay? So in the first row, I'm gonna write one, four, negative six, and negative one. In the second row, I'm gonna write what? Two, negative one, two, negative seven, excellent. And somebody else, what's in the last row? Uh-huh, two, negative four, and five. Now, I didn't, I didn't caution you at all about something but you did it without me even having to tell you. So first of all, great job, okay? What do you think I didn't have to caution you about? The signs, right? You know enough that there's not just a one here in front of the X, you know it's a negative one. You know that there's not just a six in front of the Z, you know it's a negative six, okay? But I'll tell you, if you mess up here, almost always it's because of a sign. So be careful about that, okay? Now, looking at the coefficient matrix, what's, what's next in our calculator that we have to enter is the number of rows and the number of columns. How many rows are there in this matrix? Three rows, okay? So um, let me caution you, right? This is a calculator caution and not just a general, don't forget your science caution. When I go to hit my number of columns, I need to hit my tab button and not my arrow buttons. Because if I press my arrow buttons right now, all it's gonna ch do is change the number of rows. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hit the down arrow to go to the next number of columns, but all it did was take my number of rows down. You see what I'm saying? So hit the tab to go to the number of columns, or you can use your mouse, like your little cursor thing, and go press, but it's just faster if you use tabs. How many columns are there in this matrix? Excellent and then enter, okay? So in our, in our list right here, we enter the rows and columns. 
And as soon as I hit enter, do you see it gave me an empty matrix? Well, guess yes. what goes in the empty matrix? Our coefficient matrix, right? Okay, so also I would recommend that you use your tab button here as well. You don't have to. But watch what happens when I get here. If I'm here and I want to go back over here, I have to press down, left, 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 right? But if I press tab, it takes me to the next one. Two, number seven, negative one, two, negative four, and five. Now before I press enter, I'm going to take just a <coughs> couple seconds and make sure what I entered was actually what I wrote down on my paper. It's a lot easier to take a couple seconds now to check than to hit enter, realize it's wrong, have to go back and enter it all again. Do you see what I'm saying? Now when I enter it, what it gave me was another matrix as an answer, right? So I'm going to copy down that matrix. 1, 0, 0, negative 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 1 and 0, 1, 1, negative 1. This is my answer matrix. Okay? Now, oops, see what I did? It's supposed to be a 0. It was a 0 on my thing, I just copied it wrong. Yes? Okay. Now you need to check and make sure that that is a diagonal of 1's. And you need to make sure that this is a triangle of zeros and that this is a triangle of zeros. Okay? And if you know you have a diagonal of ones and two triangles of zeros, think about it for a second. If I translate this back into equation form, what is this first row saying? 1x plus 0y plus 0z equals negative 3. Isn't that telling you that x equals negative 3? What's this row telling you? y equals negative 1 and z is negative 1. So isn't it telling you the answer is negative 3, negative 1, negative 1? Isn't that what it's saying? It's only saying that if you have a diagonal of 1's here and two triangles of zeros. How much faster is that going to be than what we've been doing? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be so angry at me. It's okay. Okay. You understand my reasonings for teaching you this last, right? Okay. But now that it's there, can you use it? Yes, 100%. Unless, what? It says solve by substitution or it says solve by elimination. Okay. But please understand, this is also the work that you have to show. You have to write the problem, you have to write the coefficient matrix, you have to write the answer matrix, you have to write the answer. That's your work. Does everybody understand that? Okay, then let's talk about this example. Let's do this example together. Okay, 1x, sorry, x plus y plus 2z equals 1, x minus y plus z equals 0, 3x plus 3y plus 6z equals 4. Okay? So what does my coefficient matrix look like? calculator. You have your notes of what to push, right? Mm -hmm. Can you can you think about it? Can you remember it? Mm -hmm. Menu, matrix, R, reduced R, row echelon R, form F. first, right? So do that first. Now menu, matrix, create a matrix. How many rows will it have? And how R. many columns? Good. Now enter your coefficient matrix. One, one, two, one, one, 
negative one, one, zero, three, three, six, four. One, one, two, one, one, negative one, one, zero, three, three, six, four. So my answer matrix looks like this. One, zero, three halves, zero, zero, one, one half, zero, 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 one. Is that what yours looks like? Okay. So is that the answer right here? Why is it not the answer? Do I have a diagonal of ones? And do I have triangles of zeros? I mean, I've got one there, but none of the other stuff matches, right? So when that happens, I have to go to the last line. The last line will tell me what I need. Okay? Well, what is the last line telling me right now? Right? 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 1. So 0 equals 1. Does 0 equal 1? No, no it, it doesn't. So what do I write? No solution. Guys, what would infinitely many solutions look like? Oh, zero, zero. The last line would be 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? Because 0 does equal 0, right? If it had a last line of all zeros, that would be infinitely many solutions. But if the last line is zero, 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 something else, that's no solution. Do you see the difference? Do you have any questions about this? Yeah.